Four weeks from today, registered Republican voters all across the state will have a chance to pick the candidate that they feel has the best opportunity to be income to beat incumbent U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal. Our chief political reporter Susan Raff interviewed all the candidates, including Senator Blumenthal, giving you information to help you decide who will get your vote tonight. Susan is here after profiling Lior Levy. Susan. Mark, it's going to be a busy primary. Loyora Levy is not only a politician, or she's not a politician, but she is well-connected in the National Republican Party, especially when it comes to fundraising. She feels Connecticut voters have had enough of Senator Richard Blumenthal. You've not held any elected office? No. No. But you've decided to run for Senate? Yes. Why? because I've never been so worried about our country. Connecticut has a history of electing Democrats, but Leora Levy says the economy is such a big issue that voters will want to change. Whether it's the out of control inflation, the prices for gas, that's very hard for Connecticut families to afford. They have to make decisions with, with the high prices of food where you have eggs have gone up 32%, just staples. Milk has gone up almost 16%. She was born in Cuba. She came to the United States when she was three with her parents to escape communism. They lived in North Carolina, but when she was an adult, Levy chose to live in Connecticut. She was an international trader of sugar and worked at the State Department when she was nominated by President Trump to be ambassador to Chile. But Congress eventually chose someone else. While she's not held an elected office, Levy does have some political experience. She did the finances for Bob Stefanowski during his first bid for governor. What do you think that you could do better that Dick Blumenthal hasn't done well? Well, first of all, I will be a very reliable 51st Republican vote to stop further spending. She blames Democrats for too much spending. She also supports overturning Roe v. Wade. It does not mean the end of abortion in this country. It means that it's being sent back to the states and each state can decide for itself what is best for their citizens. On guns, she's a conservative who believes in arming teachers as long as they're certified to carry. I am pro-Second Amendment, I will protect the rights of law-abiding citizens, not the criminals. I think we must enforce the laws. When it comes to January 6th, Levy says those responsible for inciting a riot should face consequences. But when it comes to the former president and the congressional committee investigating the violent effort to change the election. They are prosecuting uh, an end of, uh, a private citizen at this point. And on President Biden, Levy says his policies have failed and that Senator Richard Blumenthal has pretty much rubber stamped those policies. Our next profile is Peter Lamage. It's his fourth shot at an elected office. He's run for governor, secretary of the state, and now twice for U.S. Senate. Lamage tells us this is just the warm-up. Live in the studio, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.